We hired a, a Gen Z consultant. We pay him in V-Bucks. So he said, why don't you send me the next uh, uh, heavy science piece you're going to do, and I'll translate it to Gen Z so that me and my compadres, I, he didn't say that, I just, I just used that. Um, I don't think he understands what that means, but him and his friends can understand. Okay. Yeah. Toll-like receptor 7 and lupus. Okay, so we're going to talk about toll-like receptor 7 and lupus. So... This research is totally on fleek, focusing on the T, the toll-like receptor 7, which is basically the body's main character, yeeting out bad vi vi viruses and bacteria. But in lupus patients, it's a whole sus situation. The receptor is throwing a fit, and there's, a way, there's way too much of it. The immune system then gets all extra and starts to stand the wrong team coming for the body's own cells, like legit mistaking the fam for the haters. Now let's get into the role of Bork and UNC 93B1 in receptor regulation. So Nathan says, enter the protein squad Bork, which is high key important in this whole drama. They're supposed to keep toll like receptor seven looking snatched, but if they ghost, it's a whole vibe check because the receptor gets turned and not in a good way. Think your TikTok feed, but it's just endless cringe. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all Holy right. Shit. Uh, so now we move on to discovery of a, of a critical mutation. <clears throat> the researchers were like, we smell tea. And they spilled it when <laughs> they found a mutation in the UNC93B1 gene in a lupus patient. This was the major gross. Uh, this was the major gross. Pro, uh, proving this gene glitch was stirring the pot behind lupus, like finding out who's been sliding into your BFF's DMs. Okay. Damn. Now, here's the implications for the lupus therapy. This is not just T. It's, a, it's the whole T set. It could totally flip the script on how lupus is treated. Instead of yeeting the inflammation with meds, docs, docs might go straight for the glow up and target the root cause. <laughs> This could be a total flex, reducing the disease's whole energy. Think less sick mode and more squad goals. <laughs> so what are the broader research collaboration and findings for the, all this? Well, the deets were dropped in science immunology and the Technical University of Dresden was like, hold my boba, revealing more UNC93B1 mutations that can trigger lupus. It's the plot twist we didn't see coming, revealing the secrets of really aggressive forms of lupus that slaps different in kids and teens. This research could be the glow up we've been waiting for. So yeah, this research is the bomb.com. It's like decoding the flex that is lupus, a total slay in the science world by peeping a tiny gene tweak can cause such a big oof. They're opening up new ways to keep people with this condition, living their best lives. We stand. Yeah, we do. Dude, hell yeah. Dude, this has to be a regular segment. I think it might be. Yeah, so I'll have to come up with a good uh, stinger for the Gen Z <laughs> translation. This will this will be our, we'll just clip these and put them on TikTok and we'll have our own podcast glow up. That's it. 